Hi there, I'm Rhea, teaching artist at the De Young Museum. We will create an expressive portrait based on an old photograph inspired by artist Hung Lu. We will also learn about Lu's amazing artwork and her art inspirations. For this project, you will need watercolor paper, watercolor, brushes and drawing materials like charcoal, pastels, crayons, a pencil, and a photo to draw inspiration from. Look through photo albums with your family. It's a great way to connect and learn about your history. Choose a childhood photo of yourself or a relative that captures an important memory. Examine the facial expression of your subject. What emotions do you see? Is your subject wearing something in particular or holding objects special to them? Any of these will give us a window into your subject's mood or personality. Here's my childhood photo from the Philippines, where I was born, before I immigrated to the U.S. I was holding a couple of stuffed animals. One was my favorite, a stuffed dog I named Puti, Tagalog for white, which was his color. And the other, a small green bear my aunt, who was visiting from the U.S., had just given to me. Afterwards, she took this candid photo. Isn't it amazing how a photo can freeze a moment in time and refresh memories from such a long time ago? Before we dive into our art activity, let's learn about Hung Lu, who was an inspiring beloved artist in the Bay Area. Born in Changchun, China in 1948, Hung Lu grew up under the Maoist regime. Lu studied art in Beijing before immigrating to the U.S. when she was 36 years old. Her installation at the De Young, Hung Lu Golden Gate, is inspired by her personal history and by migrants who, like herself, came to California and became an important part of its history, society, and culture. Lu was known for paintings based on historical Chinese photographs. The subjects she featured are often those overlooked in society, such as laborers, migrants, refugees, and comfort women who were abused during World War II. Lu depicted her subjects in a reflective nature. She emphasized drip marks and washes. She painted to honor her subjects, to be remembered as important parts of history. How can we create a meaningful and expressive portrait that evokes specific emotions? Take a look at this piece by Hung Lu called Witnesses. Here we see a couple of children amidst a very expressive, dreamlike background. Let's paint an abstract background, reflecting that dreamlike feeling of a memory. Wet your paper with a brush, apply watercolor, and let it blend throughout your paper. Add more washes on different areas of your paper. Wet an area first, then drop in different colors. Drop in some water too. This creates a bloom, a very expressive look to your painting. Refer to your photo for inspiration. Don't worry about making it look exactly the same. We will reimagine and transform it into a beautiful, expressive portrait, just like the way Hang Lu did. Start with a very gestural approach to drawing. Focus more on the movement in shapes, rather than details. I'm creating very loose lines that suggest the shape of my portrait. Continue to focus on forms and shapes you want to define, like the eyes and hair. I also like to add objects that are important to my subject, like the stuffed animals I was holding. This gives us a clue about the subject's personality. Here is my portrait. I would like to see yours too. Tell us about your subject. What memory did you capture in your drawing? I hope you had fun transforming your photo into an expressive portrait. 